Hey there, crafty friends. Welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Melissa Miller. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California. And today I thought we would make a Halloween card using the Best Witches stamp set. This is a super cutesy card versus an elegant card. This stamp set has two witches on there and some great little sentiments and a little frog. I did not use the little frog, but I really like him. You can find this stamp set in our mini holiday catalog, which is good through December. And I also wanted to let you know that we do still have celebration going on. Celebration is good until August 31st, so every $50 or $100 that you spend, you can choose a free item out of this little brochure. And we're doing a Halloween card today because I went to Home Goods the other day and they had all their Halloween stuff out. I figured I needed to stop being in denial and get into the Halloween spirit. So there's quite a few items we're going to be using here today. I have the uh, Best Witches stamp set. We will be using the deckled rectangle dies, and we're going to be using the fourth largest. I am also using my uh, time-worn 3D embossing folder, and I just love this embossing folder. It is uh, a 3D embossing folder, so you do need to adjust your sandwich when you run it through the uh, die cut machine, but that's super easy to do. Um, we will also be using the Scary Silhouettes dies, and I've got uh, the little bats out of here, and I used the little sentiment die. And I also used the Halloween Happiness stamp. So I've already got everything all prepped. Let me get my uh, cards up here for reference. We've, we're using lots of items, and I've got a lot of stuff prepped just to make it a little bit easier. Um, first of all, what I did was I just stamped my little witch hair with my, uh, and then I embossed with my black embossing powder. So let's go ahead and start coloring that. I've got lots of colors for that. And I will list everything in the description below also with links so you can purchase. Let's see what we've got here. I've got a ton of colors. I've probably got duplicates here, but that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to do her a little, let's, you know what, let's use our light granny apple green. I kind of like the uh, witch with the green face. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's just basic coloring here, nothing fancy. And I am using my blend, so the coloring does go pretty quick. And then I'll just go ahead and smooth out that coloring a little bit because when you use the alcohol markers, if you go over it again, you do um, get a darker color. So we've got that done. Let's go ahead and add some purple. Let's use the light Highland Heather. Actually, we'll use both the light and the dark. Let's do her dress in the, or the top of her dress in the light Highland Heather.
we go. Isn't that super cute? And that was so easy to color. So what I also did was I had my um, blender brush and I had a little bit of purple ink left on that. And I'm just going to kind of go around my image a little bit just to give it a little bit more dimension and shading in there. So it's just not such a stark white background. And it's just very faint. I'm hoping you can see that. I did not add any ink to this blender brush. I'm just using what was left over on there. And there you go. You can see that it just adds a little bit something to the background. So she was super easy to color and she is just so cute. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use my um, deckled rectangle die. And I'm just going to go cut her out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want it and then I'll cut it out and I'll show you what else I'm going to do. So I'm going to go take this and cut it out real quick. Okay, so as you can see here, the deckled rectangle die is bigger than what we actually need. So now I've got part of it cut out. So now I'm just going to take the other part, place it in there, figure out how high I want it or how low I want it. And then I'm just going to cut the top portion. I'm just going to run it through the machine and stop when it cuts the top. So I will be right back. Okay, so and that just cut that top right off. And that's how you can make a custom size with your uh, dies, with any kind of rectangle or even a circle or, or anything. You can just make it a custom size. So we've got that. Then I am going to bring in my layers. And when I used my, I already did the time-worn um, embossing folder. And what I do is I just take my um, four and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper and I spritz it very ever so lightly with water before I run it through. I get that positioned in there and then run it through my die cut machine. And that will ensure that the um, paper does not crack. So you get a really nice crisp image also. So we've already got that all done. So let's go ahead and figure out where we want our witch on here. I think she's gonna be perfect right in the center, just like that. Let's get her attached and then we will trim down this piece of paper. And these are so cute. I already have a list of girlfriends that I am going to be sending these cards to. So get that centered in there. And then I'll just bring in my trimmer and I can cut the excess off. Just like that, I think that's perfect. Now we can attach this piece to our black layering piece. And then we'll just trim off that one. And then we've got some nice layers. I really didn't measure anything. I just kind of eyeballed it. So it makes it super simple. Just get that nice and centered. Trim that down and that's perfect. All right, so now we need some dimensionals. And we will go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back of our witch here. And I'm just gonna put a few on there just so it stays in place. And then I already also white heat embossed my sentiment and I used that uh, die to cut it out. Let's attach our background here. And I will have links to all the items that I used in the description below. Oh, and I also need to mention, I forgot, oh my gosh. I have a winner from my tree lot dies who will be receiving the blue foil and that is Margaret Savage. Margaret, please send me an email 
to handmade hugs by Melissa at gmail.com and I will get that blue foil in the mail to you right away as soon as I get your address. Don't put it in the uh, comments in the YouTube video. Please send me a private email and I will get that foil right out to you. There we go. We've got our background attached. So now let's go ahead and add our witch. Now these are super simple cards, super cutesy cards. They're not real elegant, but they are a lot of fun. Anybody would love to receive a cute, colorful Halloween card. And I, uh, I went to Home Goods the other day and they had all the Halloween stuff out. So I figured it was time to get started. There we go, that's nice and straight. Now we can add our sentiment. Just like that. And that's perfect. So then to finish it off, I die cut a whole bunch of the bats that I showed you earlier. And we are just going to attach those just to add a little more detail on there. There we go. Perfect. Let's see what we've got here. I want another medium size. There we go. And we'll put the little medium one right there. Let's get out our tweezers. It just makes it a little easier to get those placed nicely if we use our tweezers. Just like that. And the colors I used here are pumpkin pie, gorgeous grape, and granny apple green. Those are my main colors for all my cards. I will show you some others that I also colored. And I will also have all the colors of my pens listed in the description below. There we go. We just need to add one more bat. Perfect. And you know, I did not add any embellishments other than my bats because I thought it looked pretty good the way it was. We didn't need any jewels or gems on this one. Let me get all my pens out of the way and I will show you the other cards I made. And Margaret Savage, please don't forget to send me an email to handmadehugsbymelissa at gmail.com so I can get that foil out to you. This is our card we made today, super quick and easy. There we've got a green witch. Here we've got the orange, the pumpkin pie. I did several cards here, super easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.